Hi, I'm Glenn Everett, Master of Machines. Join us as we take a look at Roy's beautiful trio of HK Holdens. Two spectacular Monaros and an incredible 19,000 mile 1969 HK Premier Survivor. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content coming your way. Roy Manami, a passionate car guide that's into anything that's propelled by an engine, especially if it looks tough and makes big power. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot, he loves a burnout. Roy, you seem to be very passionate about early Holden Monaros. Tell us where that started. Well, the family had one when we were younger. So down the track, I ended up buying a Monaro. I pulled it down, rebuilt the whole car and got it on the road. and. It started from there, bought one, and then the second, third, and it's, it's my passion, I love it. And you've got some Monaros in the build as well? I have, I've got a Warwick Yellow 327 which I'm building at the moment. It's just at the paint shop getting finished, and hopefully in about a month or two I should have it to put back together. And you've got a bare shell here too? I do, I've got another 327 Bathurst shell which I've had for a good eight, nine years, and it's been sitting in the same spot. <laughs> I haven't done any work on it, I've pulled it apart and that's where it's sat. We've all been guilty of that, haven't oh, we? <laughs> you, you just buy another car and you enjoy driving it and you forget about the other cars, so... And you're busy at work trying to make money to exactly pay for right. them. <laughs> exactly right. Looks like we've got one angry Monaro here, mate. It used to be angry, it's not so angry at the moment, but it's got a little small block in it, 350, aluminium headed, uh, makes about 500 horsepower, so it's a bit of fun on the street. And what did it have before? 434 small block. Hopefully on the dyno next week and back in the car. And so some back action. Into flat out performance mode. Yes, definitely, <laughs> mate. That's what we love. And what sort of numbers has it run at the track? It's gone mid tens, so hopefully now it's going to go a little bit better. That's what we keep chasing, isn't it? The numbers. <laughs> it's, it's a disease, isn't it? It is, mate. It is. <laughs> and how long have you had this car for? Oh, it's got to be coming on to about nine years now. We built it, me and my son had some fun in it and put it together and enjoy driving it. And this silver mink and the red trim looks spectacular, isn't it? It is my favourite colour uh, in the HK Monaros, but at the moment there's a lot of HKs, a lot of people are painting them silver mink, so I'm sort of getting oh, just a little bit put off a little bit and maybe change a bit of colour soon. I mean the whole theme with this car to me just oozes muscle. The reverse cowl hood, the wheels, the engine combo, it's just one tough Serious looking Australian muscle car, isn't it? They are. I mean, the Monaro is an awesome body style, wasn't it? It really is one of the true classic Aussie muscle cars. Honestly, I think it's the best body shape that they've made. You know, you've got the two door Tiranas and the HQs and that, but I think the HK's got the best. It's very sleek, isn't it? It is. I love the tail lamps too with the red anodized uh, trim around them. I reckon they look absolutely sensational, don't they? I'm with you, mate. They've got the best ass in the country, <laughs> haven't they? <I? laughs> I just love driving it. It is a passion of mine. I just love driving it. So you can't really get much better than driving down the road and everyone giving you the thumbs up and asking if you want to sell it. It's not for sale. <laughs> so when you go to the track, you know yourself how much fun it is. And when you're in that car, ready to, on the start line, you, you're warming up the tyres, you're trying to get some heat into it, getting it to stick, and then you stage. And you're just sitting there, the car's rumbling, you're watching that Christmas tree, and all you can think about is smashing that pedal, trying to run the best time you can. So, you know, to, once the light drops and you're accelerating and you're, you're sort of holding on and you're waiting for that time to go by, and 10 seconds, it flies. It feels amazing. Roy, I think I'm in love. A red Monaro. 
It's different, isn't it? You don't see many red ones. Well, I've got to say, I've, I have a bit of an attachment. My dad had a HT Monaro in virtually the same colour, and I was picked up from hospital in that car. <laughs> and I'll never forget it. It's stuck in my mind, even from those young days. And I just love them. I reckon they're a great thing. They're an iconic shape, aren't they? They are, mate. They are. Especially like this one. It's, it's not over the top. It's just a nice mild cruiser. It's a, a four-speed with a nine-inch under it and a little 327. We've driven it from Sydney, we've driven it to Adelaide. It just keeps going. It's just a nice, comfy cruiser. And the look with the white walls and the factory caps, that black trim, the red with the black stripe on it, it just gets my heart racing. I'm with you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, when I bought it, it didn't have all this sort of stuff on it. I've changed a lot of stuff with it. Uh, I've had it for about 12 months now, and we put fuel in it and go for a drive. And the 327, is she stock or has it been modified? It has been modified. It's um, run 12.3 aspirated. Wow, um, serious. It goes good. It's the old style, like fuelie heads on it. It's it's an old combination, so it's, it gets up and goes when you want it to. What does she so, turn to, RPM-wise? Oh, I've taken it to 7700. It doesn't Ooh. mind that sort of <laughs> RPM, so... My ears don't mind that sort of <laughs> RPM either. <laughs> I think a lot of people like that. <laughs> Nothing like a little small block Chevy revving heart. They're I such agree. a tough little engine, aren't they? They are. It's, um, it's got a nice camshaft in it, but it's, it works well. So it's a practical all-rounder? It is. The engine's about um, 16 years old, and sure. it hasn't had a freshen up, so it doesn't blow smoke, it doesn't use oil, it's just a, a nice cruise. Like I said, you just can't kill those little small block Chevys. They are bulletproof, aren't they? Yeah, no, it's pretty good. As soon as I seen it, it was the right colour. I wanted it, so paid the man the money and drove it from Sydney back to Melbourne. Didn't miss a beat. So it's it's a 12 second car, it's a nice car. There's nothing quite like that four slotter is there, that manual. No, the four speeds are great. Having a manual, it's a bit more fun to drive and you don't drive them every day now, everything's auto. So it's nice to have something different. You're in control. You are, you're driving the car. I think we have a beautiful old classic here, Roy. Yeah, it's a 1969 HK Prim. It's got books with the car and it's only got 19,000 miles, Glenn. 19,000 miles? 19,000 miles with books. Wow. The car came up for sale in 1993 and the little old lady wanted to sell it and she was asking big money back then. It had 17,000 miles in August 93. <laughs> so, so it hasn't been driven much. I haven't driven it since I've bought it. I bought it and put it straight in the garage. This is just one of those dream finds, isn't it? A rare survivor car hidden away. One owner. One owner. Little old lady. Yeah. You just don't find these cars anymore. You know, so when I found it, I had to have it. You know, when you say to people it's got 90,000 miles, they don't believe you. Till you actually see the car and you go, I understand. It is absolutely spectacular. It's the sort of car that you wouldn't want to probably do too much to in the way of rejuvenation, is it really? You'd want to try and keep that originality about it. I mean, things like chrome and what have we in some areas might be a little bit sad, I suppose. Yeah. What, what sort of direction are you going to take with the car? Well, I'm just going to get it polished up, put a, probably a new front and rear bar on because that's all it needs, um, and then just put it away. You know, it, you're never going to replace that car. Absolutely not. And the colour too, it's quite unique. I, I, I don't remember really seeing too many in this colour combo. It's called Paragon Blue. I wasn't a big fan of it, but when I seen the car, I thought, yeah, it, it actually suits that car. But it just needs a little bit of tidying up here and there because it obviously hasn't been driven so much. Uh, starts, runs, drives, does everything. So the old 186 is still trucking along, all right? It keeps going, mate. It's all standard, like nothing's been touched. All the engine base standard, it's still got the good boot mat in the boot. It is a, a survivor. And a dream find. It is. A friend of mine actually told me there was a HK Prem for sale. So I went and had a look at it, opened the doors and pretty much fell over. It's got an article in 1993, it had 17,000 miles and the heading was, lady owner drives it once a week to the shop. So. You just don't find cars like that every day. We're used to seeing old, worn out examples, and to find something like that that's been kept in a time capsule is amazing, isn't it? It is, it's beautiful. You can't explain it to somebody unless they see the car in person. Well, I've got to say, I fell over when I saw it too. I've just never seen such a pristine, original example. It is a beautiful car.
Thanks for watching and we'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and comment below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content coming your way.